you able to accomplish in that period of time, and, and how does that help you for uh, the next, this week and the weeks ahead? Well, it was it was good. There was a lot of things we needed to con we continue to, get to work on. Um, we moved a few people around just to take a, a peek at some guys and and um, kind of bring back some things that we worked on during training camp that we didn't necessarily use in our first three games. Um, but it, it was valuable because I just thought all three practices the players came out you know ready to work and and we utilized the time that we we practiced very well and. Um, it was good to clean some things up and get ready for, you know, this week's practice. One of the things, one of the people you moved around was you moved Matt Getz from guard to center and, and gave him a chance to run with the ones. Is that, is that uh, working out for you? And do you expect to see him there on Saturday? Well, he he did a good job uh, in those three practices, and and um, we'll see how this week goes. And uh, you know, Andrew Rojas will be back on a limited basis, I think. So we'll see how he goes as well in terms of his health. This week, and we'll just kind of gauge it as the week goes along in practice. So that's one of those kind of decisions you'll make down the. Yeah, I think so. We got to see how things go. One thing Colorado brings to the table is they have one of. Uh, though their offense hasn't really done a lot so far statistically this year, they've they've done some. Uh, Paul Richardson's done some really interesting things uh, as a receiver. Some teams have really been centering on him. Is he something that someone you're really afraid of? With the big game, uh, the big play threat. Well, he he can. There's no question. He's a big play guy, and um, he's got a, a tremendous amount of talent and speed, and, and um, you know he's made a lot of big plays already. So, um, yeah, we're going to be aware of where he's at. If we if we don't, then you know we're liable to to give up some big plays. Uh, they also have a, a, a outstanding running back who really hasn't gotten started yet this year, um, but uh, his. His running style, the way he runs, the size he is, does he kind of remind you of, of Galvin? And is that where you're trying to hope to get Ricky down the road? Yeah, you know, um, he, he is. I mean, he's a, he's a quicker back and um, he's explosive. Um, both their backs are. You know, uh, that, that's, you're talking, you know, Rodney Stewart and, and Tony Jones, his backup, are both very quick, very athletic young guys that, that um, they try to get the ball in their hands, obviously. They're willing to throw the ball to both those guys quite a bit outside of running the, you know, handing the ball off to them. So both those guys can eat up some yards when the ball's in their hands. And so, you know, we've got a challenge to, to key those guys as well. Uh, well, on uh, Logan Mays, anything new on whether or not you're going to play him, or what do you think? Well, the plan is is that we're going to, but once again. Uh, we want to see how he you know he practices this week and uh, um, but if he practices like I believe he will you know the plan is that he'll play pretty much largely or exclusively in pass rushes uh, I, I wouldn't say necessarily uh, right now initially yes to answer your question but um, we'll see how it goes and how he plays when his opportunity is, is there still plan to keep Ian Knight on that at this point yes any questions on the line? Mm, Paul, it, any other uh, kids who are redshirting right now that you could see playing going moving forward? I, I don't think so, unless we get an unfortunate rash of injuries or any one particular position. Um, you know, we do have a lot of players over that are redshirting, and that is our our continued plan. Um, and right now, I, I don't see why there would be anybody at this point. Yes, Coach, you and Coach Embry are both uh, alums coming back to your school, and obviously he's facing some growing pains this year trying to get that program back on track. Can you relate to what he's going through? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, a lot more than what he's going through. Uh, he's, got, he's got some pieces in the cupboard to work with, and um, there's some talent there. Um, you know, I'm sure it's not uh, everywhere like he would like, and that's part of the the, the process of rebuilding it. Um, but they've they've got some pieces to work with. They've got some veteran players and spots, and some athleticism. And um, you know, they've played tough in all their ball games, and uh, they're they're a very capable team to win a lot of games. And um, but uh, I understand what it's like when when there's a change in coaching staffs, 
you know, it's never smooth that first year for sure, even if there is a tremendous amount of talent left. Um, <clears throat> so it's, you know, the combination of those two things um, are challenging, you know, for a coach in his first year. Um, how important was it for you to maintain Washington State's great tradition of passing and quarterbacks, receivers, as opposed to maybe looking at something else? Well, I, I think, number one, that's my background. I, I just believe offensively we want to be wide open, uh, you know, and, and um, I've always believed that. So that's, n that's number one. Um, but, two, it, it does fit what Washington State has had a great tradition of. And, and, and as you're watching our young team develop, you're seeing, you know, you're seeing those types of things on our offense. Um, but we still got a lot of work to do, and uh, we, we got a lot of growing to do. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Well, uh, Colorado is a bunch of sacks, I think, Tim. Are, are, they, are they getting it primarily with a four-man rush, or are they doing a lot of different stuff? You know, primarily with a four-man rush, and they'll bring some zone pressures and, and such, but... You know, the Hardigan kid is, is, I think, leads their team in tackles. He's an outside backer, but plays a lot of defensive end and rush him. Um, you know, and, and they're, they're very good at, at rushing a quarterback, particularly at the defensive end positions. And they do a good job of disguising different looks and bringing linebackers as well. So, you know, that's a <clears throat> big challenge for our football team is to identify those and to be able to win some one-on-one some -on -one matchups when we protect and uh, – uh, so we've got our hands full in our in our protection schemes and for the individuals that, that are in that position. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a heck of a challenge for our, our offense. Is, is there any carryover at all in, in terms of, excuse me, what, what San Diego State did in terms of kind of their unorthodox approach to, uh, to getting after the back? Is there any carryover at all there? Well, I, I'm sure that, that there will be a few things that they did that people are going to try to do. Uh, that'll fit their base scheme and try to do it their way. Um, but, you know, we had some breakdowns. We're trying to fix those breakdowns in our protection and blocking schemes a little bit at times in that game, and, and we got to get it better. And uh, regardless of what they do, we, we got we to gotta take care of our business and do a better job of it. generalized recruiting question kind of piggybacking on this theme um you in your in your current recruiting class it appears you've got a lot of offensive linemen and i was just wondering is it is it hard to find those guys i mean this, this appears to be the, the biggest haul of those guys that, that you've uh, that you've had during your tenure there um it, it is hard i mean some years there's more you know, more players in a position than others when you go out and recruit. Um, <clears throat> it just so happened this was a year we needed to sign a bunch, and, the, and we felt there was a good number of them out there. Uh, once again, identifying the guys that we think fit, you know, our needs and that fit our kind of pro fit our program. Um, and uh, I just feel that these guys are all just outstanding prospects um, for us. And, uh, you know, I've I, been part of Washington State, you know, and paid attention to Washington State relatively closely uh, since '85. And um, you know, this young group of guys we have heading in here potentially is um, as good as group uh, as that I could imagine coming in at this point. But they'll, they'll have a lot of work in front of them. But I'm very happy about this class. Paul, every year, uh, every other year, way over at Eastern, you had to prepare for a game in Northern Arizona, which is actually even higher than Boulder. Did you guys do anything different and to pre prepare for? Uh, I mean, that's a heck of a travel situation. But I mean, was that something you guys prepared for, and you guys feel like you handled it well? Well, our our, our kids at that time were used to taking tough road trips, and uh, so it, there was a lot more um, comfort a higher comfort level with the players because they were used to taking tough trips. But, uh, you know, I, I don't believe so. You know, when, when I was a player here, we, we played at Colorado um, one year, uh, my sophomore year, and we played at uh, Wyoming my senior year. So um, I'm, I'm aware personally of what the, the differences are. But I have to admit that, you know, we're at 2,500 feet here roughly, and we're going to go to 5,000. So 
I, I don't. I don't. It shouldn't really be an issue. Um, <clears throat> I think it will be if we don't hydrate. We got to hydrate well. Um, we got to just make sure we're hydrated and we we eat correctly. And I, and I really think we should be. It should not be an issue. Yeah, it is supposed to be somewhat warm. Mm -hmm. Looking at like an eighty degree day. So, and you're right now. You're not getting eighty degrees in Poland. That's yeah. Like. Well, it's okay. You know, I, I think we're fine. And um, <clears throat> once again. I think we're in, we're in good shape, and our players just need to take care of their body correctly. I really think we'll be fine.